Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. Last week, we talked about gas, about, you know, gear things. And uh, thank you so much for writing your experience. Always, I enjoy what you write here. And um, I'm learning, too. And today, I'm going to talk about, a little bit difficult to talk about uh, my experience of, again, anxiety. I used to have an anxiety attack really bad. And I'm sure a lot of people suffer this one. And this particular like, situation, very difficult to explain to other people. Other people never had this, then no idea, you know. So I'm going to explain what happened, maybe why, and how I deal with this till now. And maybe you can give us your experience. How do you deal with it, you know? And as you know, I take everything very, very, very positive. So I will do a positive way. Okay, are you ready? Great. All right, so the beginning. So I went to, you know, early days, early, early, okay? Kindergarten. I went to public kindergarten. I don't know why. And a lot of girls, not so many guys, you know, I mean boys, you know. So that's already a little awkward, you know. But good part is that um, public kindergarten had music uh, class. And after class, almost like you can stay and you can learn like marimba or, you know, um, recorder, uh, I did a harmonica. So that was great. Then they do recital. Then elementary school, I wasn't really into sports. So I was always not really into anything except when I was uh, 10 years old, I was really into Bruce Lee, so that's how I, you know, start doing karate around there, probably. But I wasn't really into sports, so I had a difficult time communicating with kids. Kids, kids probably didn't like me because um, I wasn't really, you know, same as other people. I'm, I'm not into sports. I was into more music, right? So, and... Um, when I was 10 years old, I started listening Beatles and because I had a friends, fr friends of older brother start playing guitar and listen to music and but, but that's um, other time I will explain but so I slightly I was into um, music in high school about 13 I, I wasn't really you know gray kid I was just doing something nutty you know and um against the school you know doing something a little bit more wild you know so that time i just didn't care anything you know just whatever i want to do kind of deal but i didn't have any hobby or anything that like now i have music guitar so much you know great stuff i didn't have that one the finally when i was 13 i really found my love with the guitar and karate and as you know my karate teacher was just a guitar player he really helped me in the beginning so um, this is between age 13 and 14 and my karate teacher was self-taught so he could not teach me all the theory so he suggested me to go to music school music like you know small you know private small music school in kyoto so he he brought me to you know meet with people at the school you know it's a tiny place but then i got in my karate teacher was more like my father you know helping me that so i went you know guitar private lesson and this old guy you know he was probably 60, 65 years old jazz guitar player and I was into Larry Carlton, you know, so a little bit more fusion. 
And so he had um, jazz guitar method book written by Japanese old guitar player. So I bought that one, came with a cassette tape. But obviously, I don't know how to read. So, you know, beginning, so that actually now I say that book missing a lot of foundation, just right away to, you know, play something. So that's kind of hard to do. And uh, he gave me, you know, in order what to do. So he didn't teach me anything like, you know, jazzy stuff or anything, just everything, you know, uh, straight from the book. So I follow it a little bit. And I learned the chords, I learned the melody, but then I remember. Ta -ta 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 some triplets I could not figure out triplets because I see triplets but I don't know how the sound is and he was really mad at me why why you don't do that just because I don't read music that's why I'm here and that's how actually I learned a little bit about being a good teacher you have to be very patient you know he wasn't really patient enough for me and then I realized Kiss, you know, the rock band, da -da 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 like, you know, triplets. I remember that I play, and I can play, but I can read. You see, little problem there. But then I kept doing this. Then, uh, probably third or fourth lesson, I see before me, after me, some guitar player. Everybody has a semi hollow 335. And, um, and then I was allowed to stay there if I want to watch other lesson, you know. So I was there. This is what happened. I was looking at somebody playing something. And I was like, how you do that? See, I didn't know how to study because up to that point, about up to age 12, I just didn't do anything about schoolwork. I, did not, I wasn't really into it. I would just, you know, um, bring home... Um, bag and just throw the bag. I don't really check anything, you know. So, um, so you see, like almost like didn't care, didn't study. All of a sudden, care about something, but then that's really difficult to follow. That's the problem, you know. And so, third or fourth lesson, I was watching. All of a sudden, I feel little, not that dizzy. My heart is going really fast, going do, 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 really fast. And then feeling like, oh, like almost like going down. I mean, you can say depressing, you know, almost like, but every 10 seconds kind of going down like this. And you never ever felt like that. And I feel scared. And I ask, can I have water? And I drink water, the same. A little bit more story there, but just, you know, long story to sh make sure of that. And um, so anyway, I was suffering anxiety attack. I didn't know. And um, then jazz guitar school and my relative's house was nearby. So one of the guitar students brought me to there, you know, my relative's house. And I explained what's happening. And my relative, you know, thought, I had a heart attack or something like that because I'm laying down, I can breathe, you know. So, so already like a, a translation, you know, like, hmm. Then ambulance came. Uh, I was took by ambulance and went to um, hospital. And I was told just a little, a lot of stress or something like that. And then I went home, I laying down, I was feeling fine. Just a little tired, but fine. And as a young, like a 13, 14, I have no idea. And then after that, it happened again. Like in a few times, like almost about, about you know, similar feeling, you know, like almost like a pressure or something. You know? And nobody really knew as an anxiety or anxiety. Like back then, that's like 1978 or 1980. They didn't have those words, you know, so... Then I go to, I went to um, physician, you know, doctor, and they check my heart, you know, put a lot of stuff and check the, you know, graph and stuff. But every time I went, I did, you know, four or five times, every time said normal. 
And I think one one day I had to stay at hospital and just a little bit more. But I said I'm I'm fine. I just go home. You know, went home. I stayed in hospital half a day. I just got tired. You know, tired. So after that, I felt like okay, I have to deal with this one. You know. And junior high school, right? I was fourteen, fifteen, and nurse, old lady. She was very nice. She talks a lot, but she was very nice because a few times, you know, I feel really not feeling great at the class, so I just go to you know nurse uh, office and just talk to her. And she said, "I can, I can, you know, help you a little bit." And she actually came to my house, and she brought me in hotel, have a lunch. And this was kind of funny too. And then she said. When you have a with your friends, you know, I mean, kind of, I'm not sure this is correct, but she said,、uh, "You want to order some similar food. You don't want to be too stand out." So she was trying to teach me something because I was a little different, you know. So she probably trying to teach me I have to fit in something, you know. But I understand. But I, I at least I feel felt good that somebody really care about me. Same thing, and.、Uh, Yeah, so this, the important part is, so I had an anxiety attack. So obviously, I stop going to jazz guitar lessons because too much pressure. So that's already kind of a okay. I can do this because I I don't have enough guts to do it. You know, you know. But because of,、um, mentally anxiety attack. Right. So so that's why I said okay, I can do this guitar thing too much. So why not? I study a little bit more to go to you know high school because that's that's already again like a different story there but it's, I I I shouldn't say that so remember there is a key point why I start studying but there is a key point not only the anxiety attack but see the key point anxiety attack really made me to go to regular route to go to regular school so that's how I get into a little bit more normal in a way you know otherwise. I didn't go to high school. I just、uh, went to Tokyo to, you know, become a studio session guy, whatever. Then probably smoke a lot of cigarettes, a lot of drinking, you know. Then maybe die early. <laughs> you never know. So my point is, everything not meant to be, but everything it's okay. If something happened. You can't change. Already happened, you know. So you can't change that. You have to acknowledge and you have to accept. And sometimes you have to deal with it. So instead, fixing anxiety attack completely, I decide how I live with anxiety attack nicely. Almost my roommate is anxiety attack, but then I have to work with it, you know. So that's why I become so. Positive, because that's only way. So that's why I like Mr. Bean. You know, Mr. Bean is funny. And anything feel anxiety, I think Mr. Bean, it works, because he's funny. You know. So okay, I think you got the point, right? Yeah. So high school. In high school, I want to study. But again, it's hard work, so I get anxiety attacks once in a while in a class. So sometimes, like, oh my god, you know, kind of a, a little hurt, like you know,、um, heart beating. Then my English teacher, and、uh, really nice guy. I told him that he experienced a little bit of anxiety attack because I can see his personality, very sensitive guy, you know. So he said. Yeah, you know, don't worry. Just you know, t- you know, he really helped me to ease up about you know work and you know still has to study, but just you know, not 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 pushing much. Then he really understood. That was that was really great. Yeah, so so that's really helped me. Then after that, obviously, I play with the band in you know high school, and when I went to regular college. I was playing a band, so I had to deal with it. So I I understood number one, if I don't sleep well, 
Then I get tired. If I get tired, then this ner nervous part is co cooking up, you know. So also always prepare early. That's why I start arriving early, preparing early, and so that I don't have to worry about. Because what's happened was, you know, back to that when I was 14, jazz guitar lesson, I did not prepare anything. Then I showed up and that person expect me something without me to prepare. So that's why my body, soul gave up, you know. Okay, now, this is important. It's a problem, anxiety attack, you know, right? But, but this, I took better way because I had an anxiety attack, so that's why I care about my body and my soul. So as you see, I sleep a little longer. See, if you're a musician, probably you do like, you know, two o'clock, three o'clock, you're still practicing or doing something. Next day, get up early, only four or five hours. All people do that. But I really have to s sleep six hours or seven hours. Even when I was touring, I always sleep like a long, long, I mean, enough time, you know, so. And that's really um, helps my mind. So I took anxiety attack as more like a parameter of my body to really see what's going on. So I don't really take it, you know, um, <clears throat> negative way. But few times happened, it just... I was tired maybe or overthinking and I was playing. I still remember this is Kyoto. Play with Paul Jackson and then Shinji uh, Shiotsugu. So a lot of pressure, you know, because legend, legend. Then, of course, when we went to dinner was fine. But then at the dinner, I already thinking, oh, I have to play really well. I have to do something like that. And then what happened? First song, second song, my, my, um, you know, her going crazy, <laughs> you know. So then my hands start shaking. So I can't really play too much, you know, 16 like that. So, you know, I, I play really simple and I try not to panic more. <laughs> but I see you know, the good part is I never fell down to the floor. You know, it just having that anxiety attack, but just somehow I'm okay. I'm, I can't really, you know, function well but so that was hard so once in a while if that happen I have to shift my mind into something else very quickly because it's happened to me a lot like you know after that it's almost about to happen if I think about it oh, oh coming coming or if I worry about it it's happened so once it happened whatever I start saying like if I driving you know happened to me like a few times because a lot of pressure like that crazy I just start singing because I'm so busy that I forgot I was having anxiety attack but this is uh, interesting um, when I had um making album pure okay and this is uh, uh, a re released um, 2010 <clears throat> the first one I I think I started 2008 with Steve Gatt and Will Lee and we recorded three songs that was March and around November, I was lucky. I made three more songs with Bernard Party with Will Lee. That's other funny story too. That's a really funny story. And right after that, 2009, I think 2009, maybe 2008, I'm sorry, 2008 or 9, March, I, I got to play with Steve Jordan and Will Lee. And um, back then, I think John Mayer was using Will Lee. So, you know, I, have, I thought I had to grab it really quick. So I always keep calling Steve, you know, to uh, set the date. Anyway, 
that time, around that much, I was busy teaching at the Berkeley, then thinking about the song to, you know, play, right? So I was, you know, writing a charts, and right before the lesson comes, and just, you know, one time, I think, there, just, I got um, really bad um, anxiety, anxiety attack, almost like, I, was, I still remember, I was teaching somebody, I'm having amazing attack, just my heart going so fast, you know, and uncomfortable. But then somehow I went through. Then I think only one day I have a really, really bad one. I have to leave because I just can't control too much, you know. So it's hard. Anyway, I don't want to get too long, right? Like that. And then the day of going to studio, this is, uh, I want you to understand, this is really about mental thing, not just about physical problem like you know not not like a muscle problem or not bone problem it just if you think about it 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 happened so this is what happened so this house i'm getting nervous leave because you know it was so busy to you know prepare everything right and then i pack everything i go drive start thinking 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 okay this is crazy right before highway there's a kind of a circle like that that's gradually my heart going faster and faster and once i'm in the uh, uh, highway i got a really bad anxiety but already booked the studio that night and there's no turn around to go so this is what i did again i start singing city song still you know not great but so i want you to understand last three songs of, of pure i wasn't really 100 percent great condition because i had a really bad anxiety attack a few hours before that then i went to studio i pretend nothing happened because i can't do that you know so that was hard so that was kind of a, my peak like you know kind of a work too much and you know that's why now I'm not teaching at the Berkeley because I taught 30 years I have to do a little bit clear thing clear my mind so I take it easy you know yeah and um, a few weeks I've been doing cleaning up like take everything off from uh, you know shelf and cleaning up anything I don't need I throw away all the paper stuff so and originally I was going to go to LA end of uh, January but I decided not to go January it's just cleaning and just cleaning I have to do that because that way I think I can do better all right so what do you think about my story I'm not sure how many people follow till now probably only 10 people <laughs> that's okay this is very personal but so I've learned having an anxiety, anxiety attack was not too bad because this way I take care of my body and my soul. And like I said, I sleep well, I eat well. Even when I tour, I don't eat too much, um, you know, salty food or, uh, you know, drinks too. I don't drink, you know, so. I like drink just a little bit. Maybe one cold beer a month and maybe one two glass of wine you know red wine once you know one once a, once twice a week like that like that and then once in a while i like a cognac you know yeah just a little bit just taste a bit so i hope you learned something from this so i want to hear what you thought about my episode today Thank you so much for watching Tomoshi the Music. And plus, I have a lot of, uh, you know, nice um, t-shirt, you know, um, shirts and everything like that. Long sleeve shirt, you know, guitar wisdom. And um, you can see um, description too. You can support us, you know, buying these. That's great too. All right. So. 
Thank you so much for watching Tomofujita Music. If you like my channel, Tomofujita Music here, please subscribe and share with your friends. That'd be great too. And if you're a serious guitar player, I highly recommend to join Guitar Wisdom. Guitar Wisdom, we use two cameras and we, you know, showed all the chords, you know, degrees on the screen, and you won't miss anything, and more detail, and that's my passion. Really, really important. All right. So, have a great day. See you soon. Thank you so much.